there's a different approach to artificial intelligence that holds greater potential than neural networks or large language models like ChatGPT. Today, we're exploring that alternative, what I call the enhanced knowledge graph. Let's dive in. I'm Charles Simon, longtime AI researcher, software developer, and manager. In addition to AI work, I've developed software for several neurological test instruments and neural simulators, and along the way, learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of biological neurons and how your brain must work to do the things it does. The system I'm going to describe is part of the open source Brain Simulator 3, which you can download from GitHub. Neural networks and large language models are impressive, but they have a fundamental problem. They don't actually understand anything. Despite media hype, these systems aren't truly brain-like. You can think of them as advanced statistical models that predict the most probable response to an input based on training data. The more data, the more intelligent they seem. But they still lack true comprehension. That's where the enhanced knowledge graph comes in. Knowledge graphs have been around since the 1970s, but have taken a back seat to machine learning in recent years. Let's break it down. A knowledge graph consists of nodes representing snippets of knowledge connected by edges representing relationships between them. Think of it as a web of interconnected facts rather than a black box statistical model. For example, a node could represent Einstein. An edge could be rote connecting Einstein to theory of relativity. Another edge could be Isa linking Einstein to physicist. Relationships can be bidirectional, so you can ask, what are the attributes of Einstein? Or name some physicists, and the graph can return the answer. So what makes knowledge graphs so powerful? Instead of storing massive amounts of statistical information, only meaningful nodes and relationships are kept. For retrieval, only relevant portions of the network are searched, while a neural network processes every data item. Unlike neural networks, which require thousands or even millions of examples, a knowledge graph can instantly incorporate new facts. It doesn't need retraining. The graph structure is not predefined, so you can add, modify, or delete nodes and relationships as needed. Unlike traditional neural networks where knowledge is hidden in synapse weights, knowledge graphs explicitly store relationships, making reasoning much easier and more transparent. Finally, the knowledge graph can always give the facts which led to any conclusion. This structure allows for powerful reasoning and inference, which is where the enhanced knowledge graph comes in. Let's look at the features the enhanced knowledge graph brings to the table. Any relationship has three components, a source node, a target node, and relationship type. Unique to this approach, relationship types are nodes too. Thus, they can have attributes, and new relationship types can be added whenever needed. Relationships also have weights. This represents the confidence that a relationship is true. When working with limited or erroneous data, this allows for choosing the most likely answers. Because they are nodes, relationship types can have attributes which enable powerful inferences. Isa and has a relationships allow inheritance. For example, a person has two arms, an arm has an elbow, therefore a person has two elbows. Exceptions make this a powerful data compression technique. An individual node only needs information which makes it unique. Most information is inherited. Greater than is an example of a relationship type with a transitive attribute. For example, 5 is greater than 3, 3 is greater than 2, implies that 5 is also greater than 2. Is similar is a relationship type which has an attribute of being commutative. If A is similar to B, then B is similar to A.
Traditional knowledge graphs store information in a rigid way, usually with predefined relationship types. The enhanced knowledge graph is dynamic, adaptive, and incredibly powerful. As information is presented, the system can make its own decisions about what to add to the graph. Like neurons in the brain, nodes don't need to contain information. Meaning is in the relationships. Internal nodes can show their meaning by traversing their relationships to external nodes, which gain meaning through connections to the outside world. This way, nodes can represent images, actions, words, or even abstract concepts without internal content. This flexibility makes it the perfect AI foundation for real-world understanding. In fact, anything which the brain can think can be represented in an enhanced knowledge graph. All of these features have been implemented in the Prototype Universal Knowledge Story, or UKS, which you can access on GitHub and try out. The future of AI isn't just in training ever larger neural networks. It's in developing enhanced knowledge graphs, a system capable of true understanding, reasoning, and efficient learning. If we pursue more research on these systems, we could see them surpass neural networks in human-like comprehension, vastly greater efficiency, real-time adaptability, and explainability. So what do you think? Are enhanced knowledge graphs the future of AI? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest in our graph-based technology. And as always, thanks for watching.